Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So we are going to learn the new topics for today uh, It's in chapter 6, uh, they call it program control uh, For the previous uh, lecture, we have learned Learn about the flags. So, this is the uh, topics where you use most of the flex functions because you may need to control your programming. Okay, your code, uh, the way that how your code behave, you must control that on that. Use by can, you can use by using the flags. So, uh, the objective for these uh, topics, we are going to learn about the difference on the unconditional and conditional program control where you can uh, uh, specify which type of uh, conditions to control your program or another one they call it unconditional means that it always have to jump like that something like that it must follow the the, 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 the syntax whereas there's no need to compare anything so then uh, you can apply it on the program control instructions okay uh, if you can remember, uh, if you learn about the programming before, so most of the programming have its own flowchart, right? So you have to start and then you have to, uh, what is actually you are doing, you are declaring and then you are doing something, uh, you are calculating something and then you compare and you need to answer yes or no decisions. So you need to know that which one is uh, which one. Because uh, over here, you, you know that uh, each of the process have different types of uh, uh, the shapes when you draw the, the flow charts, right? So you can remember that uh, normally for this type of shapes, this is uh, basically on the, on the decisions that you want to make. Maybe for this uh, process, then you want to do something. Then when you are checking whether it's correct or not, something like that. Then you are doing that. Then this is your start and this is your end. This is just a connector. And this is a process subroutine. You remember if you can remember subroutine something that you want to run in, in short while in some uh, between your program you have a subroutine. So you will go to subroutine and go back. And then this is actually coming uh, reading from the input output. So you, for example you have the keyboard, etc. Okay. Uh so this is the structure of the program control where you want to use as a sequence for example that your program is a uh, start from the top and then finish to the bottom there's no repeat I mean this is after this one is and at this one you have doing calculations over here maybe and then you're checking the results if part condition go over here another condition is over here so it's doing something else over here like for this one is actually another one condition Yes or no, something like that. this is the way that how you draw the algorithm. This is how to repeat, keep on repeating. This is a whole process. So, if you can remember that, uh, for the C, this is related to the loop if else, and another one, this one is maybe a, a for, for loop, for loop, right? So, this is a sort of uh, things that uh, you use command that you use to do to make the decisions on your program to jump from here to here okay uh, let's look at the uh, definitions of it so the program control groups makes use of processor condition codes in its branch and set by instruction so this is make use of processor condition code this is the flag this is flag because it's checking that one, then it will branch. Branch means jump, jumping. Eh? So this program control instructions can be divided into five. One, one is the conditional branch. Second is unconditional branch. Third one is jump. Fourth one is subroutine call. And the last one is return. So example of program control instruction is uh, for for that for the 68K, we, we can see that this is a uh, commands that we may use or we may see later in the program controls okay okay uh this one uh the, about the technical I, i'm going to uh, skip for a while so just look at the theory first on the first unconditional branch what does it mean unconditional branch means there's no condition 
needed for your program to branch. Branch means going somewhere. Okay, so the instruction branch, branch always, B R A, A is always, is unconditional where it always execute. This is your branch. This is going to which label? Okay, uh, the size. This is uh, not really important at the moment. So, so that is so that is one. So we are going to look at the, how it works on the programming. Okay, let me try to uh, open up one program for you. Okay, uh, I have one example here. Let's try to have a look at the first one. Main. Okay, uh, this one we just uh, remove. And this one we we'll just remove it. Okay, we have the main program. Okay, I can just again write this one. Uh, move dot byte hash dollar sign AA to the area of E0001. Then the second one is move dot by hash dollar sign five five two e dollar sign e zero 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 one zero then I have this command branch bra main This one you just ignore at the moment, right? So let's run it whether it's got problem or not. So we have problem here. So this is a problem. Okay, let's run this one. Still got problem. Where's the error here? Move dot byte. This is the problem. E insert zero. Okay, there's no problem. Okay, this is how it works before and after right now i'm introducing you branch main this main is going here okay now let's run it one by one okay how it works so we are going to step the line one by one this is going down then this is going down branch main it will go up there so if i keep on running this one this is uh, going to be a loop because the branch BRA branch always to main is the one that asking the uh, the software to jump to the main level which is the, the first line in the program so let's run if I take out back the branch main if I run this one So this is the one. Finish. After two move, after two syntax, it's finished because I don't ask it to go up again. So that's why they call it is a branch. Always is unconditional. Why is because that if you move to this line, this is they will not checking anything because the 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 the, the command is asking you to go back to main. Keep on asking. This is a condition unconditional. They are the condition untuk the jump ke sana branch means branching branching means cabang ke sana branch ke sana all right this is going up so that's why you can test your system like this this is like a looping because normally in a, in a system when you develop a system you require it to go back to the main loop it's going to keep on looping 
you are not going to have one line at the end and something like it's not working actually uh, most of the program will keep on uh, looping on the same program on the main program because it's going to wait for the input so that's a uh, points of uh, uh, that one hold on eh? hello 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 Boleh kau siapa tak? Tak, saya tak buat video lah lama Haa, okey, okey Sorry for the interruptions uh, Okay, let's move on Okay, next one uh, After brunch so this is a theoretical what happened to your front counter if you can uh, look at your front counter okay let's look at the front counter here again if i put branch here branch main okay uh max okay here let's look at front counter here front counter is pointing to 1000 which is going to be running here so move that one now it's 1008 this one and then move to branch again here 1010 and after this is going back to 1000 you can see that the front counter is pointing to the locations of where your program will be executed in terms of calculations you can refer back to this one and then you find out that that displacements and calculated this is all about the theory behind but the the most important thing you need to understand is branch it always is is unconditional uh, branch which is going to be uh, on an uh, consistently loop on the program okay uh, next one so jump jump is unconditional instruction that causes execution to continue at the location space it will jump so if you want to jump to some location uh, then uh, you are going to use jump so I'm going to have it uh, I'm not going to touch this one at the moment because uh, we, we, we we don't have the example at the moment so I'm going to jump we'll see I'm going to jump also uh, 